नमस्ते एंड वेलकम टू इंडिया लार्जेस्ट क्विज ऑन स्पोर्ट्स एंड फिटनेस आई एम नमन जैन योर होस्ट फॉर टूडे एपिसोड ऑफ फिट इंडिया क्विज ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री ब्रॉट टू यू बाई द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ यूथ अफेयर्स एंड स्पोर्ट्स लेट्स टेक अ लुक एट द स्टेट वे वी आर स्टॉपिंग बाय फॉर दिस एपिसोड वेलकम टू गुजरात a land of amazing beauty and timeless traditions where the spirit of the people is vibrant in every corner the state of asiatic lines is steeped in ancient customs and artistic excellence it boasts architectural marvels like rani ki wah and the intricately carved temples of palitana showcasing its rich architectural heritage As the sun sets casting a golden glow over Gujarat's vibrant landscapes it illuminates a land brimming with life and vitality In Gujarat sports transcend mere games they embody a way of life reflecting the indomitable spirit of its people From dusty fields where young cricketers sharpen their skills to roaring stadiums where champions emerge sports hold a special place here The Narendra Modi Stadium the largest in the country underscores the significance of sport in the state Ace cricketers like Ravindra Jadeja Yusuf Patan and Irfan Patan hail from Gujarat And now let us witness the battle of wits among the curious young lions from Gujarat in this episode of Fit India Quiz We have four wonderful teams from Gujarat with us in this semi-final. They have already showed their prowess in the quarter-finals and will be locking horns against each other. There are going to be a lot of answers. Only two teams will make it to the final. Before moving on to the rules of round number one, let's meet them. We have Rishabh and Ajil from Aditya Birla Public School, Amreli. We have Aryan and Angad from Kendriya Vidyalaya Gandhinagar Cantonment on team number two. Team 3 we have Dipti and Man from Nand Vidya Niketan Jamnagar and team number 4 Chesta and Urvashi from JNV Bharuch all the best teams may the best two qualifiers make it to the final rules of round number 1 a hey, hello it's time for the first round of the quiz get set go in this round each team starting with team 1 will have an opportunity to select a topic of their choice remember Once a team has chosen a topic, it becomes unavailable to the other teams. After selecting your topic, a question will be displayed on the screen without any options. You can answer directly and earn 20 points. However, if you are uncertain about the answer, there's no need to worry. You can opt to view the options. Once the options are revealed, you will have three opportunities to choose the correct answer. If you guess it correctly on the first try, you will score an impressive 15 points. On the second attempt you will earn 10 points and on the final try you will receive 5 points. You will have 25 seconds to answer a question whether or not you choose to view the options. There are no negative marks in this round and questions will not be passed to the other teams. This gives everyone a fair chance to excel. Let's get started and all the best. Round number 1 get set go. Teams you have to treat this like the first innings of a test match. build up a sizable lead and walk into the last two rounds with confidence there will be a grid of six topics on your screen let's take a look at them we have surprise lifestyle sporting terms indigenous sports local and sports venues kicking off this quiz is team number 1 aditya birla public school what's your pick so we'll go with lifestyle you'll go with lifestyle here's your question on lifestyle What index measures how rapidly a food can cause an increase in your blood sugar or glucose levels? Do you want options? Yes 20 sir. 20 seconds remain. Okay, here are your options. First pick will be for 15 points. 10 seconds on the clock remain. I will go with glycemic index. Glycemic index will fetch you 15 points and auspicious start to the quiz Aditya Birla well done you have got those 15 points in your kitty as we move on to the second question of this round lifestyle is done we have five other topics left this time it is KV Gandhinagar choosing their topic 
स्पोर्टिंग टर्म्स ओके स्पोर्टिंग टर्म्स दिस इज योर क्वेश्चन वॉट टर्म इज यूज इन टेनिस फोर्टी फोर्टी एंड बैडमिंटन ट्वेंटी ऑल वेन वन साइड नीड्स टू कॉन्जिक्यूटिव पॉइंट टू विन आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट टू रैकेट स्पोर्ट्स वॉट टर्म इज दिस डू यू वॉन्ट ऑप्शन थर्टीन सेकेंड ऑन द क्लॉक Do you want no, options? Sir, we don't want options. Uh, the answer. What's is your few. answer? Deuce twenty points. You are confident. Did not go for the options. It is deuce. It is deuce in tennis or in badminton. Deuce is a very nice tipping point of any tennis game or a badminton set. Whenever you are on twenty twenty, you need to win consecutive two points if you want to clinch that set. Offer it goes to twenty one all, twenty two all, and maybe twenty five all as well. We have seen such epic games in the past, but this was one epic answer by Gandhi Nagar Cantonment. Both two teams starting on a high note. Team number three, Nand Vidyani Ketan, can you do the same? Lifestyle is done. Sporting terms is done. Four topics remain for you. Uh, so we'll go with. Indigenous sports. Indigenous sports. Here's your question. What does the term malcom literally mean? I'm looking for the literal translation of the word malcom. Do you want options? We'll go with options. Okay. Here are your options. Fifteen seconds on the clock remain. First for plus fifteen. I will go with polo gymnastics. Paul gymnastics another 15 in this round all three teams are showing why they finished in the top 2 of the quarter finals and are doing absolutely well in this first round itself i i don't even know what's going to happen in the last two rounds 15 20 15 pole gymnastics what an answer moving on to the last question of this round indigenous sports is done lifestyle is done sporting terms is done JNV Bharuch the pressure is piling up on you but don't let it affect you try to go for that 20 or 15 what's your pick Sir we will go with surprise You will go with surprise here's your surprise What is the last person in a team participating in a relay race referred to as I am looking for a term a word do you want the options Yes sir. Okay, here are your options. First pick for plus 15. 12 seconds left on the clock team. Go for that pick. Quickly. Finalist. Answer. A not finalist. finalist. Not finalist. Logical guess but not finalist. Do you want to try for no points? It is not finalist and your time is over. try something else it is not finalist i think then it will be anchor yes it is anchor but you took a lot of time to think jnv bharuch you had only 25 seconds you had the option of going for plus 10 and plus 5 if your first guess is wrong it's fine we have two more rounds left but you have a little catching up to do because team number 1 is on 15 Team number two on twenty and team number three on fifteen. JNV Baruch yet to open their account, but as I said, two rounds to high-scoring rounds remain. Round number two rules on your screen now. Welcome to the second lap. In this round, teams will pick their topics in reverse order, starting with the last team. Each question in this round will feature six images, out of which only four are correct. For every correct selection, your team will earn five points. However, be cautious. If you choose an incorrect option, your score for that question will reset to zero, and your turn will end there. If a team manages to select all four correct images, they will receive a bonus of five points. So, when in doubt, it might be wiser to stop and secure the points you have. There is no passing of questions in this round. Each question comes with a maximum time limit of forty-five seconds, so you need to be both quick and accurate. Good luck. The questions of round number two, the second lap, are like those deceiving shots in badminton. You can be tricked into going for the wrong answer. Teams will have to choose very wisely. They are neck to neck. They know their competition is really, really good. 
Here's the grid of topics once again. Six topics, teams you will choose in the reverse order now. But before that, let's take a look at them. Ball sports, sports rules, sports leagues, lifestyle, Olympics and surprise. JNV Bharuch, try to accumulate those points. What are you choosing? Lifestyle. Okay, lifestyle. Your question on lifestyle coming up. List the other names commonly used for sedentary lifestyle. I'm talking about other names of sedentary lifestyle. Read the options carefully. 35 seconds on the clock still remain. Go for your first pick. What's your first pick, JNV Baruch? Inactive lifestyle. Inactive lifestyle plus five. Plus five. Quickly go for the next one or stop. You don't have much time to decide. Couch potato syndromes. Couch potato syndrome will take you to plus 10, but your time has ended. 10 points to you, JNV Baruch. Had time been on your side, what would have been your guesses after couch potato syndrome and inactive lifestyle? What would you have gone for next? Um, desk bound lifestyle. Desk bound lifestyle was also correct. And uh, you should have. And no stable, stable disease. disease was no 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 that was incorrect. So glad you did not go for that plus fifteen and then went for the last uh, wrong answer. Plus 10, you should be happy with that now. Decent performance, but had you been a little bit quicker, you would have got that plus 15. But still, going off the mark is very important in this round, so that you have something to take in the last round. 10 points, the correct answers are couch potato syndrome, desk-bound lifestyle, inactive lifestyle, and sitting disease. So that's 10 for JNV Baruch. Second question of this round to Nand Vidyani Ketan. The grid, once again. So lifestyle is done. Five ball. topics to choose from. Okay. So we'll go with ball sports. Okay. Question of ball sports. List the type of services in volleyball. Four of these type of services are used while you play volleyball. So underhand. Underhand, yes. Plus five. <laughs> Hybrid. Hybrid gets you plus 10. Let's see whether it was a wise decision or not. What would have been your third guess? Had you not stopped? So you would go with uh, side spin. You should have gone for it. Side spin would have been correct for 15. And another one for a full house, for a virtual full house. Euro step. Euro step would have brought you back to zero. Decent decision that gets you a plus 10 for saying underhand and hybrid. The other two correct answers were jump float and side spin. Side spin is what you said after you decided to not go for it. Albatross is used in golf and Eurostep is used in basketball. Remember team, it's used in basketball and not volleyball. Hey there, are you guessing the answers correctly but missing out on the rewards? Here is your 12th man chance. All you need to do is open the Fit India official Instagram page and check for the first clue in the stories. Then wait for the second clue which will be shown on your screen in the next few seconds along with a question. Your job is to call on this number and give the answer within 5 minutes and stand a chance to win exciting prizes. Here is your second clue. Now we move on to the third question of this round. This will be to KV Gandhinagar Cantonment. 
We are done with lifestyle, we are done with ball sports. Gandhinagar Cantonment, what's your pick going to be? Sports leagues is what you choose. Here's your question. List the cricketers that were part of the Mumbai Indian squad in the inaugural season of Women's Premier League. The one that happened last year. First pick. Sir, Sophie Devine. Sophie Devine is what you say and you don't even get off the mark in this question. Your first answer in itself is wrong. Did you not see a very safe answer there for plus five? You can tell me what would have been the safest answer in this question. Gandhinagar Cantonment? Uh, you Gandhinagar followed Gandhinagar WPL? No idea. You don't follow WPL? No, sir. Oh, that has hurt you in this question. Mumbai Indians famously won the first season of WPL in 2023. They were led by Captain Harman Preet Kaur, which would have been your first safe guess had you been following it. Yeah, Harman Preet Kaur, Amelia Kerr, Pooja Vastrakar and Haley Matthews. Haley Matthews, the opener and also a great all-rounder. So no points to KV Gandhi Nagar Cantonment after that brilliant 20 in the first round. Now we are seeing a seesaw of scores. Before that, the last question of this round, which goes to Aditya Birla School. Aditya Birla Sports Leagues is done. We are done with lifestyle and uh, ball sports as well. What are you choosing? Sir, we are choosing sport rules. Rules of sports coming up on your screen now. List the cards not handed out for suspensions in field hockey. I'm talking about not handed out for suspensions. Read the question carefully and get started with your guesses. Sir, purple. Purple plus five. Blue. Blue plus 10. Black. Plus 15. White. White plus 25, not plus 20, but plus 25. You have gone for the full house. This was the last question of round number two. And you smashed it out of the park team. Aditya Birla School. That takes you to 40 points. You're sitting pretty at the top, aren't you? We have five more questions to come. But you are in the pole position, Aditya Birla. What a way to end this round. Well done. Yellow card and green card is handed out in hockey for suspensions, different minute suspensions. But whenever players commit some foul, if it's less serious, then they'll get green card. If it's more serious, then they'll get the yellow card. Okay, a look at the scorecard before we move on to the most exciting round of this Gujarat semi-final. So we have Aditya Birla School with that fantastic answer leading on 40. Then we have Nand Vidya Niketan on 25, KV Gandhinagar Cantonment on 20, and JNV Bharuch on 10. The best thing is, all teams have racked up points that will boost their confidence going for the last round. Rules of do or die coming up on your screen now. In do or die, we introduce puzzle questions. When you buzz in, you have two choices. Play it safe to earn 10 points or risk losing 10 points. Or take a risk to double the points, potentially earning 20 points or risking a loss of 20 points. If the first team to buzz in answers incorrectly, the question will be passed on to the next team on the buzzer. Before providing your answer, ensure you declare whether you are playing for the default points or opting for double points. This round can significantly impact your score, so be quick, smart and confident. Round 3, the last round, the best round. 100 points on offer from 5 questions. Gujarat has produced Bhavina Patel, the ace table tennis player. And just like her quick reflexes, the teams will have to be quick on the buzzer. But also they have to think. There has to be a strategy in place. A minus 20 can not just set you back on the scorecard, but it can also demoralize you. Okay teams, teams ready on the buzzer? Question number one coming up on your screens now. What is the name of this yoga pose resembling a half wheel 
which has several benefits like lowering back pain and obesity. JNV Bharuch has gone for it. JNV Bharuch, double or default? Double. Double, what's your answer? Ardha Chakrasan. Bharuch? Ardha, Ardha Chakrasan. Chakrasan is what you say. Ardha Chakrasan will fetch you 20 points. Your yoga knowledge is spot on. That was a very quick answer. I mentioned about reflexes, but you also said double. That gets you 20 points and moves you up to 30. What a way to start this round. JNV Baruch, well done. Other teams take a leaf out of their book. They have gone for the double and gave the correct answer as well. Okay, fantastic start to this round. Question number two on your screens now. Which Olympic sport uses clay pigeons as targets, replacing the live pigeons used in the past? Clay pigeons and it's a target sport. Focus on that target sport. Two very big clues. No teams on the buzzer yet. Seems to be a little bit tough. There seems to be a lot of discussion. No teams going for it yet. And I'll have to close the question in three, two. Aditya Birla in the nick of time. Aditya Birla, double or default? Sir, Sir, default. Default, what's your answer? Shooting. Shooting gets you plus 10, but why did you go for default and not double? Sir, uh, we had some confusion between archery and uh, shooting, that's why. Uh, okay, but shooting will get you 10 points. Clay pigeons are used in skeet shooting and trap shooting. Archery, you always have a target. So no clay pigeons in that. But previously, long back, live pigeons used to be used in uh, shooting and there's a lot of bird and animal cruelty there. But it's a great decision to use clay pigeons. 10 points to Aditya Birla. They have reached their half century. Other teams, you need to play catch up in the last three questions. Question number three on your screen now. Which former player is the founder of BBFS, recognized as India's largest residential and non-residential football academy? BBFS, big clue in the name. KV Gandhinagar Cantonment has gone for it. Gandhinagar Cantonment, double or default? Said double. Double, what's your answer? Sir, Baitim Bhutia. Why do you say Baichung Bhutia? Sir, in the name it's BBFS. That was the clue for you and you have got 20 points BBFS. That BB stands for the Sikkimi Sniper Baichung Bhutia. And this is like his fast pace shoot. What an answer, what an answer. You have picked the right clue. Quizzing is all about going for the small clues and sometimes the images. 20 points for Gandhinagar. Now, this is starting to get more and more interesting. The last two questions will decide which two teams are these. You have, you know the math. You need to form a quick strategy as well as look at the next question on your screen now. Who is the only player to represent India in both chess and cricket? I'm talking about a double international. And Nand Vidyaniketan has gone for it. Nand Vidyaniketan, double or default? A double. Yuzvendra double your Chahal. answer. Double. Yuzvendra Chahal. Yuzvendra Chahal will fetch you those points. 20 for saying this A spinner's name. The leg spinner had represented India in chess before. And now he's a great cricketer having proven his services to the country. What an answer. 20 points. And a new player has entered the fray in this Gujarat semi-final. Which has turned out to be a roller coaster since the past three questions. Nand Vidyaniketan with that 20 go to 45, KV Gandhinagar on 40, Aditya Birla School on 50 and JNV Bharuch on 30. Any two teams can make it to the final. We have one question left. That's it. Only one question. What a thriller this is turning out to be. We are in the super over. Not just the super over. We are on the last ball of the super over. And some of the teams need a six to win. Other teams, they just need to take the wicket. Well, who knows what's going to happen? We'll find out. Last question of this wonderful semi-final on your screen now. 
The Association of Traditional Sports and Games India, operating under the guidance of International Council for Traditional Sports and Games, is endorsed by which UN agency? JNV Bharuch has gone for it. Bharuch, very helpful logo, double or default. Bharuch, need an answer. Double or default? Default. Uh, double, default, double. your answer. Double, your answer being? Du double. double. What's your answer? Double. I'm afraid I'll have to pass you. I'm afraid I'll have to pass you. A negative 20, you took a long time to answer that. No other team has gone on the buzzer. Sir, it's a, it, it will be Khelo India games. No, you took a long time. I already gave you a negative and Khelo India is also incorrect. That still sets you by minus 20. Other teams have not gone for it. The question is closed. We have closed the last question. Again, an, an anticlimactic finish to this thrilling semi-final the last question proving to be a little bit tough the correct answer teams was unesco unesco is the un agency behind the association of traditional sports and games minus 20 for jnv bharuch they took a long time to answer even after we closed the question and gave them a negative they gave the wrong answer anyways so that's why a negative on double Aditya Birla school, that half century suffices for them. They go into the Gujarat final. KV Gandhinagar on 40, miss out only by 5 points. And Nand Vidyaniketan with that Yuzvendra Chahal answer, that was plus 20, takes them to 45 and into the Gujarat state final. So only 5 points separating the second team and the third team. What an absolute belter of a Gujarat semi-final we have had. It has been my pleasure to host this absolute belter of a Gujarat semi-final. Until next time, I am Naman Jain, your host, signing off. Stay fit, stay curious. Jai Hind.